I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. Why didn't you ever mention this? Always my man, I'm super to excited to see how this I run goes down. Spectre, I'm it. super excited to see I how failed, this game's. Commander. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. Have a good night, Bubby. But now all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. I won't let you down, sir. Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got his Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Pharaoh system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharaohs and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. Anything else? We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau cluster. Maybe I can get to Novaria before the Geth. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll try not to make things any harder on you, Ambassador. Glad to hear it, Commander. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. What's funny is, I, have I feel like that doesn't matter. Captain Anderson can answer I, think, any I was sitting here thinking that I was going to be like, okay, well, off you go then, and then it would take me there. Yes, Commander? How are you holding up? Honestly, this isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. Pushing papers really isn't my thing. But you're the one who can stop, Saren. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have to step aside, so be it. I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Saren's out there somewhere. And we're gonna find him. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's Stick. open. If you got anything you want to say to the crew, now's the time. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. Our enemy knows we're coming. When we go into the Traverse, Saren's followers will be waiting for us. But we'll be ready for them, too. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species in Citadel space. Saren must be stopped, and I promise you all, we will stop him. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. The Captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Oz. Yes, sir. I don't know why, but that was really epic. <laughs> I really, really like that. I'm moved. I am moved. That's nice. Thanks Here's for my boy. Me on board, Commander. I knew working with a Spectre would be better than life at CSAC. Have you worked with a Spectre before? Well, no, but I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. At CSEC, you're buried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. Being a Spectre does have its advantages. Exactly my point. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. Okay. But CSEC wants it done their way. Protocol Little psycho, but whatever. Come first. That's why I left. 
So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things? There's more to it than that. It didn't start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with more and more red tape. C-Sex handling of Saren was typical. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hate leaving. I hope you made the right choice. I'd hate for you to regret it later. Well, that's sort of why I teamed up with you. It's a chance for me to get off the Citadel, see how things are done outside C-Sec. Either way, I plan to make the most of this. And without C-Sec headquarters looking over my shoulder, well, maybe I can get the job done my way for a change. As long as you do your job well, you're free to go about your business as you see fit. Thank you, Commander. My man. Get the fuck out of my presence. Nice ship you got. He's Commander. off the gloop, dude. What can I do for you? What's your story, Rex? There's no story. That's a lie. Go ask the Quarian if you want stories. Does this guy not give you John Goodman vibes? You Krogan lived for centuries. Don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting adventures. Well, there was this one time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. That was fun. I heard about that. You know, they almost did the same to us. It's not the same. It seems pretty much the same to me. So your people were infected with a genetic mutation? An infection that makes only a few in a thousand children survive birth? God damn. And I suppose it's destroying your entire species? <laughs> okay, sorry man. Yeah, you're right. It's not the same. My bad. <laughs> Touchy subject. I think. I suppose it isn't all the same. I don't expect you to understand, but don't compare humanity's fate with the Krogan. I was just making conversation. I wasn't trying to upset you. Your ignorance doesn't upset me, Shepard. As for the Krogan, I gave up on them long ago. As long the as they didn't piss them off. Infected us. But it's not what's killing us. So long, Rex. Shepard. I'll crack that egg. He'll be my homie before this is all said and done. Yo, they got the quantum. They got their the quantum motherfucking wah, wah, wah thing. Pilot in the uh, fuel in the ship. I don't even. I don't even know. I'm Your flabbergasted. Ship's amazing, Shepard. I've never seen a drive cord like this before. I can't believe you were able to fit it into a ship this small. I'm starting to understand why you humans have been so successful. I had no idea Alliance vessels were so advanced. The Normandy's a prototype. Cutting edge technology. A month ago, I was patching a makeshift fuel line into a converted tug ship in the flotilla. Now, I'm sitting on board one of the most advanced vessels in Citadel space. I have to thank you again for bringing me along. Traveling on a vessel like this is a dream come true for me. I had no idea you found ship technology so interesting. It comes with being a Quarian. The migrant fleet is the key to the survival of my people. Ships are our most valuable resource. I'm kind of curious what she looks like underneath that mask. We make do with cast-offs and second-hand equipment. We just try to keep them running for as long as we can. Some of the fleet's larger vessels date all the way back to our original flight from the Geth. I can't believe your fleet's still using ships that are three centuries old. <laughs> I'm happy you said it. They're yeah. <laughs> being repaired, modified, and refitted. They aren't pretty, but they you think she's a baddie? Mostly. We've tried to make ourselves as independent as possible on the flotilla. Because boy, it was being thought. And process our own fuel. But some things we just can't make on our own. A patch to maintain the hull integrity requires raw materials we just don't have. That's why our pilgrimages are so important. I should go. I should go. See you later. Yes, yeah, so this is a good move talking to these people because, uh. Hey, Commander, you know that Quarian Tally? She's been spending all her time down here asking me about our engines. I'll tell her to leave you alone. What? No, she's amazing. I wish my guys were half as smart as she is. Give her a month on board and she'll know more about our engines than I do. Hell yeah. A real knack for technology, that one. I can see why you wanted her to come along. 
I figured she'd be a real asset to the team. You got an eye for talent, Commander. But I'm guessing that's not why you came down here. That's it. Yep. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, Commander. Galaxy map, so we can go anywhere in the galaxy, huh? All right, let's go to let's go to fucking Novaria. See what's going on. Approach control. This is the SSV Normandy requesting a vector and a berth. Normandy, your arrival was not scheduled. Our defense grid is armed and tracking you. State your business. Citadel business. We got a Council Spectre aboard. Landing access granted, Normandy. Oh, he's pissed about that. Landing access Rise granted. Confirming identification on arrival. If confirmation cannot be established, your vessel will be impounded. What a fun bunch. I think I'll take my next leave here. That's far enough. We're not here to cause problems. This is an unscheduled arrival. I need your credentials. I'm a Spectre. My name is Shepard. Load of horse crap, ma'am. We will need to confirm that. Also, I must advise you that firearms are not permitted on Novaria. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. Yeah, hold on. Don't try it. Let's not start a fight. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Captain <laughs> Fucking Rex, stand my down. guy. We confirmed their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. You may proceed, Spectre. I hope the rest of your visit will be less confrontational. Honey, the Fire only one causing confrontation upstairs. is you. Behave yourself. You're not my mom. What? I am Gianna Parasini, assistant to Administrator Analeas. We apologize for the incident in the docking bay. I appreciate your help. You're welcome. You understand our security chief was only doing her job. One of my duties is orientation of new arrivals. Do you have any questions? Yeah, just right to the point, maybe? I heard there were Geth here. Has anyone unusual passed through here recently? Unusual? And a sorry matriarch passed through a few days ago. Lady Benezia. Sarin's flunky? Where? Can I speak with her? Benezia left for the Peak 15 research complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. Could you tell me how to get there? You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to leave this port. Where's Analeas? Where can I find the Administrator? His office is Where in the Where can I level. find the Administrator? Yes, at the top of the elevator. Pretty heavy security for such a small port. The executive board does everything in its power to protect the privacy of our client corporations. I'm not here to dig out any corporate secrets. That's gratifying to hear. Understood. Can we go in now? Of course. If you need any help, you can ask me at the administrator's office. I love these guys. He's a merchant? This one offers greetings. You are the specter that visits Port Hanchan. News travels fast here. Indeed, esteemed Spectre. Your arrival was not greeted with any joy by the companies here. This one has a burden that you could ease. If an arrangement could be made, it would compensate you. Okay. This one has procured a special item for a customer. The item is not permitted within the station. Sneaky but smuggling? But you could bring it through customs. You want me to use my status to smuggle for you? That is not inaccurate. A little bit of crime's okay. I have no problem with that. This one humbly thanks the Spectre. The package will be delivered to your vessel. All you need do is bring it to this one. Please do not mention this to Administrator Analeas. That one would levy fees this guy's also super fucking bold else this one might help you with this guy's so Could fucking bold now? fucking is there anything in particular the hello Spectre guy is looking for? with intergalactic authority um can you smuggle something for me i know we just met but you want to do some fucking absolutely shady shit for me <laughs> Why, the mail came how do you in at the hotel lady? bar 
He's a sales rep for Binary Helix. His name is Raphael Vargas. I need you to speak with him. Do you know who I am? Everyone here knows who you are, Dullstone. That That's makes not you exactly how you talk to me to get me to do something. You are a known quantity, or so Vargas will think. He will assume you are here to investigate his company's dirty laundry. That will distract him from your, my, real intentions. I don't know anything about Binary Helix. What would I talk to Vargas about? I represent the Aramali City Council on Thessia. Our town is known for its biotic amp crafters. What is your interest in Binary Helix? They do genetics work. Much of BH's work relates to biotics. There are rumors that the Novaria branch has flown in Asari biotics. Powerful ones. Commandos, to be specific. We want to assess any potential risk to Asari copyrights. You will present yourself as a buyer, on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance. Discuss their military enhancement programs. Your real objective will be to distract him. I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. It will upload a variety of monitoring viruses. They will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. What is going on? I walk into this place and they're like, yo, you got some power. Um, here's just a bunch of illegal shit we need you to do for us. Can you do something illegal for me? That'd be great. I'd appreciate it if you did. Um, What's in it for me? Money, of course. I would be well paid for this. So would you. 500 credits. 500 credits? Kinda sounds like chump change. There's a sniper rifle worth 304,000. Sure, I'll do plan. it. I'm in. Excellent. Here is the cracking device. You will know it is done when it beeps. I have assembled a dossier on Vargas. If you would like, I could brief you on his behavior patterns. Tell me what you know about Vargas. He is impatient with those who waste his time. I tried to get him distracted and off-topic. He concluded I was not interested in his company's services. I noticed he has a tell. When a topic makes him nervous or uncomfortable, he has a tendency to rub the back of his neck. Rubs the back of his neck. If you see that, press him on the subject. It may distract him enough to keep him talking. I'll go see him now. I hope to hear from you soon. Can I help you? Mr. Vargas, I'm Commander Shepard, a Spectre. I understand you work for Binary Helix. That's correct. Rafael Vargas sales. Were you interested in our services? <laughs> just heard a gentleman, Asari asked me to spy, so if you could just go along with that. I might be. That depends on what sort of offer your company can make. It was my understanding that the Citadel contracted to a Solarian Corporation for its enhancement programs. I'm sure you know that we pass a new budget every fiscal year. If it delivers a better soldier, contracts can change. A sound business practice. Excuse my hesitation, I've never heard a government accused of good business sense. First, the boilerplate disclaimer. No genetic enhancement is guaranteed to take. We can maximize the odds, but every strand of DNA is unique. Our patented techniques can provide an 8% improvement in adrenal response, 12% faster clotting, and a measurable decrease in ZG muscle degeneracy. A measure ZG, I'm assuming that means zero G, so no gravity. I've never heard of a technique that improves zero gravity endurance. It's a first for the industry. The advent of element zero based artificial gravity made it a less pressing concern. We're still waiting for tests to give us an average improvement. We estimate a 7 to 11% decrease in muscle loss rates. I can get you those improvements for 30k credits per head. Oh, that is the tell. Order, I can work in a sensory enhancement package, guaranteed 2015 vision and hearing from 12 to 22,000 hertz. I don't have high enough. I put on my points in the charm. What do you mean? I'm being scammed. Are you sure that's the best price you can offer? Absolutely. That's the standard rate. Of course, if the government moves forward with this on an official level, there might be some additional discounts. I have to admit, it surprised me that you're here for business. There are many development projects on Avaria, some not entirely legal. Um... I wear a lot of hats, Mr. Vargas. 
Some days I shut down criminals. Some days I defuse nukes. Some days I like to enjoy private vices. You understand me? I suppose. My apologies. Your manner is rather informal for a business meeting. I'm sorry, Mr. Vargas. That's a call I have to take. Thank you for your time. Of course, Commander Shepard. We look forward to doing business with the city. Yeah, too bad, because that was all a lie. <laughs> I got him. You fool. Your toy did its job. Excellent. I will transfer 500 credits to your account. Only 500? All right. I thought you might have wanted to provide more, since you couldn't do it yourself, I mean. Did I say 500 credits? I meant 750. That's right. Good day, Spectre. My hat's off to you, miss. Bad. Afternoon. Sit down, have a drink. What can I do for you? Who might you be? Lorik Keen. For the moment, I am the manager of the Synthetic Insights office. For the moment? Mr. Analeas closed my office. He claims to be investigating reports of my corruption. Oh. The administrator is an interesting There's man. There's a lot of fucking ne'er-do-wells on this quite planet. Wealthy since he took direct control of rents. I sense a connection there. Indeed. I acquired evidence of Analeas' actions. His hired goons are ransacking my office to find it. I suspect your goal lies outside this port. Mr. Analeas would be disinclined to let you wander. If you recover the evidence from my office, I will give you my oh. garage pass, as well as a sum of credits. You have a plan? Oh, just sneaking around, Mr. Analeas? However, there is one other... What is that charming human expression? Fly in the lotion? Violence against Mr. Analeas' thugs may be necessary. He has members of Han Shan's security team searching my offices. He's paying them under the table. Miss Matsuo is unaware of their outside employment. I'll focus on trying to get your evidence. If I'm lucky, I won't have to fight anyone. Excellent. Here is my pass into our offices. It will activate the elevator. The evidence is on my office computer. This OSD contains an encryption key to access it. Slide it into the drive and it will auto-execute. Oh, and do try to keep blood stains off the carpets, would you? Naturally. Okay, well, I guess we're going to do the roundabout thing. What sort of office? Lily Herix? Spectre, right? Yeah, that's me. I used to be a military tech. Except for my Eagles people, everyone's too corporate here. They just sit around sipping expensive water. So what can I do for you today? How can I get into the garage? You need a pass. You can get one from Analeas or the managers. If you can polish enough gizzard. Maybe you could let me borrow yours? Sure. If I wanted to lose my job and get sued into the next spiral arm, security tracks card use. I have to go. You need anything? I'll be here. I like that guy. He's like, fucking do whatever you want. Just don't get me in trouble. Fair enough. I respect it. Freeze! Hanshan security. This office is sealed. What are you doing in these offices? The administrator's orders. Laura Keen is under investigation. Analeas is paying you to shake this place down. Does Captain Matsuo know you're here? Hey, I'm not the one who wants Keen. Analeas has a Varen up his ass about this guy. How about this? You pretend you didn't see us, we'll pretend we didn't see you. That's why you put points into charm, boys. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Well, I did say I wanted to fight. Where did I just get hit from? Up top. Yep, there he is. Oh, baby. Yes. Oh, of course. I don't think you're supposed to be in here, Shepard. <laughs> nope. <laughs> you have me at a disadvantage, Miss. 
Oh, now you're gonna show some respect? I'm Sergeant Kyra Sterling, Ilanis Risk Control Services. Analeas would throw you off world for what you did here. I won't. You know what we did to cop killers on my world? You're breaking the law for bribe money. You know what we do to dirty cops on my world? I didn't want to fight them. They fired first. Well, I don't need a gun to get you to pieces. Actually. Holy shit! Did I just get one domed? Cooked. Straight up cooked. I don't think you're supposed to be in here, Shepard. No, I'm not. Are you? I'm Sergeant Kyra Sterling, Ilanis Risk Control Services. Analeas would throw you off world for what you did here. I won't. You know what we did to cop killers on my world? You're breaking the law for bribe money. You know what we do to dirty cops on my world? I have a mission to complete. I did what I had to. I don't care. Use assassination. Thing. She's trying to run. Doomed. I don't know if these guys know this, but I don't fuck around. A step to me. Try to tell him. Commander, there have been reports of noise from the Synthetic Insights office. Would you know anything about it? It's probably Analeas's thugs ripping the place apart. Smart ass, huh? That's fine. I can work with that. Meet me at the hotel for a drink before you talk to Keen. I'll be <laughs> okay, Gianna. What do you got for me? Allow me to reintroduce myself. Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. Why is an internal affairs agent here? The executive board knows about Analeas's corruption. I've been undercover for six months. Oh, I wanted damn. to convince Keen to testify before the board. With his evidence, this planet can run profitably again. I need Keen's garage pass to complete my mission. You help my investigation, I'll provide whatever you need. Favor for a favor. Lorik is offering a lot of money. A pass can open one door. Credits can open many. Look, Shepard, I don't like this either. You specters play fast and loose with the law. That's bad for business. Decisions are tough, man. Ain't that life, though? You gotta make decisions and deal with the consequences? Damn. Keen is offering to pay me. Can you? I can produce a copy of Analeas's pass for you. I can't move large sums of money without someone noticing. I'll consider it and get back to you. If you have any love for the law, you'll talk to Keen for me. Don't disappoint me. You know where I work. Come talk to me when you change your mind. Always a pleasure, Spectre. Any news on that matter I asked you to look into? I finished the job. But an internal affairs investigator contacted me. She wants you to testify against Analeas. Now that you have my property, you want to dictate how I use it. I have no interest in a public spectacle. Everyone on this station is chafing under Analeas' extortion. You might end up a hero. My employers rely on the goodwill of the executive board to work here. The board was already investigating Analeas. They're concerned about the worm and their own fruit. All right. It is obvious that I cannot dissuade you. Very well. I will testify. Make whatever arrangements you need with your contact. I will wait here. Here you are. The Spectre has done a great service for this one. From the deepness of light, it thanks you. 
This one promised compensation for services rendered. It humbly suggests that a sum of 250 credits would be most appropriate. Would you have had any chance of getting this past customs without me? You can be a bit more generous. The other's words possess the discomforting ring of truth. <laughs> this one could raise like the sum talk. to 500 credits. That is half this one's profit taken by the other. It can offer no more. It'll have to do. This one is glad to have come to an agreement. Later. I'm just browsing right now. Dude, I never even like talked to this Analeas dude. He's going to be like, who the fuck are you? And how the fuck have you ruined my life? You have ruined my life, sir. Spectre, have you given any more consideration to my offer? It took some persuasion, but Keen has agreed to testify. <sighs> That's a world of stress off my back. I'll take the evidence for safe transport. <laughs> I didn't think you'd help me, being a Spectre and all. I guess some of you can be all right. Doesn't this help you? You don't seem particularly happy. I'm ecstatic, but right now, I just feel like a long day of work is ending. While you were working on Keen, I got you a garage pass. Be careful up there. I have an arrest to make. Wish I had time to change into something easy to move in. I hate skirts. This is an outrage. I'll see that you never work in this sector again. Yeah, yeah, get a move on. <laughs> you, Shepard! I demand you place this bitch under arrest! You have the right to remain silent. I wish to God you'd exercise it. See you around the galaxy, Commander. He said I it. A beer. Access to the garage is restricted. I have authorization. Excuse me. Yes, that's genuine. Drive safely. The weather's supposed to be pretty bad out in the Alutsk Valley. Okay, crazy eyes. What's up? Wild. 